For this exercise, we're using a foam roller as a prop for a more challenging dead bug variation. You can use a shorter foam roller like mine or a longer one. The setup for this is the same as the regular dead bug, so you can place a pillow underneath your head for a little extra support if you'd like to, otherwise your head can be directly on the floor. In any case, tuck your chin a little bit so that your gaze goes diagonally forward over the tops of your knees. From here, brace your core, pulling up from your pelvic floor and drawing in from your belly button toward your spine. Press your lower back into the floor, wrap your ribs in and down. You should feel tension pressing back up against your fingers when you press into your abs. From here, we'll lift one leg, other leg, and then arms. Make sure that your knees align just slightly forward of your hips. And this would be the starting position to go into a regular dead bug, right? So now let's add the foam roller. Take the foam roller in one hand and place it on the opposite thigh from that arm. Now, instead of just holding it like this, we'll actually hold it with the opposite arm going across us and our arm or wrist, depending on where it aligns for you, pressing into the foam roller. Now press into the foam roller with your thigh as well. If you have a longer foam roller, you're not gonna move the positioning of your leg, but you would have the top of the foam roller out like this, and you'd be pushing into it, right? So push into it from your arm and from your thigh, keeping your knee stacked over your hip. And from here, now we can go into our free opposite leg and opposite arm, extending, inhale, and back to that starting position. To make this a little bit easier, you can keep your leg a little bit more elevated. The lower it is to the floor, the harder this will be. So pick the elevation that works for you. You could also keep your knee bent and go into more of a heel tap, either touching the floor or not. It doesn't really matter how low your leg goes. What matters is that you're maintaining this tension through your core.